money. So discovery and innovation is a process of trial and failure, success and errors. And we may, we, we may think that the challenge lies in finding complex ideas and then figuring out how do you make it globally, uh, how do you proliferate that globally. Now, the real challenge lies in finding simple ideas and to solve complex problems. And then how do we get that to be a global, to create a global impact? About a year and a half ago, my co-founder and I, we found a very simple idea to target a global problem. Now the global problem we were looking at was greed and waste. While we, it didn't take us much research to know that the population was overconsuming and we were destroying our natural resources, we looked at one such problem, water. So here's some interesting facts. The water that we consume, most of it comes out of one source, rainwater. Most of that water is harvested in lakes and reservoirs, and most of us per day consume about two liters of water and probably about three kgs of food, which is also 50% made of water. So actually, the single largest resource we are consuming is water. So we asked ourselves the question, how do we save this precious resource? How do we build a device which can actually help us save more? Now, don't get me wrong. There are plenty of devices out there, and there are ways to save. And we weren't building something that wasn't known in the world today. We wanted to create something that would create a behavioral change in human beings to conserve more and save. And let's be honest. When we save, just like money, there's a sense of pride. So we looked at some examples. We looked at inspirational products, and we tried to build our philosophy around them. Now, a lot of us thought of owning sports cars or driving for sports cars. Few thought of owning an electric sports car until Tesla came around, and they triggered a revolution in electric vehicles. Few aspired for a smartphone until Apple came around. With their great design and great quality, they triggered a revolution for smartphones. And few hailed a cab online until Uber showed up, and they created the experience that we have today, from when you get in the cab to when you leave. The trigger sparks a difference in thinking. The design draws attention, and the experience allows us to touch and feel. So we, taking these principles in mind, we set out in building our product. And we thought we can create a trigger, which was built through great design, and we'd create an experience. And so it started. We took a $3 umbrella, we took a $1.50 PVC pipe, and we took a free water container, which would have probably ended up in a landfill anyway. And we created an umbrella which captured water, and it filtered it through this pipe and stored it in a drum. Now we knew we were far off from a finished product. So conventional thinking may, may say that to build a company and build a product, you need to hire PhDs, you need to have experts on your team. We went out and we found experts, we spoke to everyone we knew, and we hired first-time job seekers, and we hired interns. And we took our approach of trial and error, failure, to see if we could come out with this product. And we had really built the perfect failure machine. We had uh, gone through, we had gone through quick cycles, and our approach said, rather than taking the conventional approach of month-long project plans, we would sit in war room sessions like this, and we would fail in five days. So either we succeeded in what we were trying to build, or we'd fail, and then we'd move on and try again. And then version two came out. And now we have a larger looking structure. We have a filtration system which is built in, and that water can be stored, and it can be taken out through a tap. And this was called the Ulta Chata. So the Ulta Chata finally, at version three, became the grand product it is today, which we were able to see as an inter interesting and versatile product 
So while it created spaces, we had a filtration system built in, integrated inside, to collect water, filter this water, and then it could be stored. We found uh, during the dry months, we integrated solar energy inside, and now it's a renewable energy device, which works 365 days of the year. So you have water during the monsoon, and you have solar during the dry months. It turned out to be more versatile, and we created workstations underneath. And now you could plug your laptop. The solar energy would be stored in a battery, which could charge a laptop or maybe even an electric vehicle someday. And this year-old company soon started getting calls, and now we have some of the largest companies in India using our product. And now we've also started getting companies from all around the world asking about the Ulta Charta. It became iconic, and we had lighting inside. So while we were able to recontextualize it in time and space, it was useful in the day and at night. So here are the features of this simple product, which started as a simple idea, evolved into something that has water and energy. So at the top, we have, we, we put in a mesh, a 2,000 micron mesh, which allows us to filter through any large organic matter. Uh, that water is then, the water coming through the canopy is filtered through our inbuilt filtration system, which was patented. And then the water can go into the, uh, for fine filtration into a box, which we call our five box, which then is portable. So we have created, we've taken rainwater, removed organic matter, brought it down to portable water standards, and we provide that as drinking water. During the dry months, we have renewable energy, which is stored into a battery. It can be used as lighting or other ancillary devices. Now, the whole Ulta Chata concept was also to create an impact. You can't manage what you can't measure. So we had, we connected the device through a smartphone, and now you can actually track how much energy you're capturing. You can see the water purity, or you can uh, track how much water you've collected over the year. So if I had to look through the innovation matrix of how products would be developed over time, here's where we compared. So you have your standard core offerings, which are existing, which are targeting existing customers, like solar energy on your roof or water harvesting systems, water purification systems. And then you have innovators who add incremental features to these standard products. And then we created what we found is a new market. Like many other innovative and disruptive products, we were creating a new product for a system that generated energy and water. So this simple idea did have the power to change the world. Thank you.